Wow, what a revelation and what a brilliant series Man vs V is. It is literally the tonic that everybody needs right now and literally had me laughing out loud from start to finish from national treasure and absolute icon Rowan Atkinson. This series was absolutely brilliantly produced and I cannot wait to talk about it. What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel Lifestyle Critic. I hope you're having a brilliant day. So in this video we are going to be reviewing Netflix's series Man vs. B, which is a comedy mini-series from Netflix, although there is scope for a second season if you have seen the final episode. And there are nine episodes in this series and every single one has a bit of a cliffhanger and they are all super bingeable. I mean the creators have said that they did want it to feel like a movie but with all the benefits of a series in terms of having all of these different cliffhangers and having every single episode focusing on something really individual which just makes this series so so good and it was just absolutely brilliantly hilarious and I cannot wait to break it down for you in this TV series review. <laughs> So the series of Man vs. B is centering around this lead character who is called Trevor Bingley and he is house-sitting for a super rich couple when he finds himself embroiled in a match for the ages as he is battling a bee and the series then explores with hilarious consequences by the way who is going to win? Which titan is going to win? Is it going to be man or is it going to be B? As it puts both of these characters in a series of hilarious scenarios. Now from a positive point of view, I think this series is really, really innovative actually. Like I said, every single episode is focusing on something really particular and it's really, really great how the audience can actually relate to the different situations that Trevor is finding himself in. I mean, of course it's really exaggerated and it is a little bit over the top for comedic reasons, but I do feel like on a basic level, you can actually empathize and sympathize with all of the different scenarios that Trevor is finding himself in. I mean, of course, all of the different situations and scenarios are heightened for comedic purposes and it's just so brilliant. Like I said, I was laughing out loud across this entire series run and it was just such a great series to watch to de-stress and just get in a good mood. It was just so good. All of the slapstick humor, of course, Rowan Atkinson is just an expert in and all of those scenarios are just so, so good. I mean, Trevor just literally throws himself into them and they are just absolutely brilliant and the setting is in this super home so that is just really really cool in and of itself just seeing this incredibly technologically advanced mansion house and all of the different advanced situations that Trevor finds himself in which isn't that relatable as of course this house is really really extravagant so from that point of view I feel like it's really entertaining and really alluring as well However, from a negative point of view, I guess if they made each episode slightly longer, all of the different situations could have been expanded upon a little bit more, as I do feel like they rushed them through a little bit. But you know, that being said, you can take this as a positive or a negative in terms of the series just leaves you wanting more, which is just really, really great from a storyline perspective. <laughs> So Rowan Atkinson is really demonstrating that he still has it as he is absolutely fantastic as the Trevor Bingley character, a down on his luck lead that you feel really, really sympathetic for. And I think it's really, really great how they really do flesh out this character both in terms of his history and all of the craziness that he gets into, which is really, really great, as you really do empathize and sympathize with this character as he has just been through quite a lot. But then at the same time, he is just absolutely hilarious and is just fully demonstrating that he still has it as all of the comedy relief, all of the slapstick humor is just so good. I mean, Mr. Bean just totally defined a generation with its incredible comedy and it just still hasn't been matched. And I mean, Man vs. B, I mean, I'll talk about comparisons in a moment, but Man vs. B is just showing that this type of humor is just so good. But that being said, nobody can do it like Rowan Atkinson. So it is reassuringly familiar, but at the same time, is still doing something refreshingly new. Like I said, Trevor has a heart of gold, although he does do a lot of crazy things, which does make you scratch your head in terms of why is this character doing all of this damage to this property but the comeuppance for that does obviously come what you do see at the first few moments of this series that's actually a slight negative about this series actually they do kind of reveal a lot of the things that are going to be coming up in future episodes but this character really does not give up he is a man on a mission in terms of just wanting to destroy and kill this bee and he does do a lot of creative things to try to achieve this aim. We also got Jing Lucy who is playing Nina. She is the uptight spoiled brat owner of this incredible mansion along with her husband Trevor and this actress, you may well remember her from Crazy Rich Asians and Gangs of London and she is constantly calling the Trevor character 
as she doesn't really trust him and I feel like this character even though you do want to hate her as she is just such a spoiled brat of a character I feel like she does also bring a bit of comedy relief too. We've also got a police officer who makes a couple of appearances to Trevor when he kind of notices that a couple of stuff is not right. We've also got some burglars there was a little bit of a twist with these characters which I thought was really really innovative. We've got a gardener it's a shame they didn't give him more to do as a gardener could have been really really wicked. We've of course got his arch nemesis the bee which I thought was visually really really well represented and the bees got a really great brain and mind on them as they are able to just outsmart the Trevor character so many times and we've of course got his ex-wife and his daughter which like I said definitely does round off this character and really does bring a lot of heart to his performance as well and so I feel like from a casting character's point of view man versus bee is absolutely wicked. <laughs> So from a visuals perspective, Man vs B is so good. All of the different situations and scenarios are creatively realized so brilliantly and so much carnage. This character is just able to create so much chaos across every single episode who is doing something dramatic and drastic and really does remind you of all of the chaos and carnage that Mr Bean gets up to which like I said was just so good and so great to throw back to and like I also said the bee CGI animation the way in which this bee was realized was really really good too and you can tell that some moments is CGI and some moments it is a little bit of a bee model that the Trevor character is just trying so hard to destroy and I feel like even though you can tell at points that it is a bit of a computer animated character it does work really really well and you do believe all of the situations that Trevor is finding himself in, which is really really brilliant from a visuals perspective. So from a comparisons perspective even though Trevor Bingley is a lot nicer than Mr Bean who I feel like is a bit of a narcissistic self-absorbed character he does have a lot of similar characteristics in terms of all of the slapstick humour which like I said is just so refreshingly familiar and is just so brilliant I feel like Rowan Atkinson is really in his element and is just bringing so much to the table you can't take your eyes off this guy as he is just so brilliant in every single scene that he's in literally a bit of like a theatrical production a one man theatrical production with a couple of other extras as well and he is just leading the charge so brilliantly and actually I would even go as far as to say this character in this show is a lot better than Black Adder and I do kind of prefer this character to Johnny English a little bit tricky to compare that as that was obviously three movies and this is one TV show but that being said from a comparison perspective Man vs V is actually really really wicked. <laughs> So overall, I'm sure you can tell, I absolutely love Man vs. B. I was a little bit apprehensive going into watching this Netflix series, as I just love Mr. Bean and all of the other things that Rowan Atkinson has been in, and I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to bring his A-game in the same way that he has for those other productions, but he totally did. He totally, absolutely smashed it, and the series was really, really great. The character was really, really endearing. All of the scenarios and situations that this guy got himself into with this B was just so good. Even on that point, the concept of this series is just so brilliant, as in some ways it is really, really relatable. And just the chaos that this guy gets up to is just so, so good. I'm really hopeful that we do get to see somewhat of a continuation, as we did get a little bit of a tease at the end of this series. And so for all of those reasons, I'm going to give Man vs B a solid 8 out of 10. Now I'd love to hear from you. What did you think of this series? Let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.